So let's start with the spiral galaxies. Um, the whirlpool galaxy that we're looking at here is an example of a spiral galaxy. And um, spirals consist of two very, you know, visually striking features. One is the spiral arms. So this is the area that's um, very bright. Um, it's area of active star formation. And then there's an area at the center called the bulge. So the arms and the bulge, we'll learn more about other features of spiral galaxies when we study the Milky Way. But for now, these are the two main features. So the bulge is very crowded. You can see it, it looks brighter than the rest of the galaxy. That's because it does have a lot more stars packed into it than are packed into the arms. All right, so there are different um, categories, subcategories of spirals. They're SA, SB, and SC. So my question for you is, um, which of these look like they have the more tightly wound arms? All right, so our answer here is actually the SA galaxies. So by tightly wound, I mean, if you imagine taking a piece of string and then pinching it at the middle and then twisting it around, it would start out looking like this SC galaxy. But as you continued twisting it, the, aren't, the pieces of string would get closer and closer to each other. And that's what I mean by more and more tightly wound. The arms are closer to each other. So when we look at this SC type, the arms are fairly distant from one another. SB, they're tighter. And then SA, you can hardly even see in this particular SA galaxy that those arms exist. So they're so tightly wound that they're, they're very close to the, um, to the other arms, which make them almost indistinguishable in this particular image. So that's how the um, spirals are subclassified, is by the, the tightness of the arm winding. Um, but if that is, you know, a little bit hard to figure out from the image, you can also look at the bulge size. So the SA galaxies have the largest bulge compared to their overall size, and the SC galaxies have smaller bulges compared to their overall size. All right. Um, spiral galaxies, we can see them face on like we do with the whirlpool galaxy, in which case we see all of their spiral arms in their full glory. But sometimes we see them at an angle and sometimes even edge on. And so the sombrero galaxy is in fact also an SA galaxy just like the whirlpool, but we're seeing it almost exactly um, edge on. So in order to pick out a spiral, um, it's not always as straightforward as it might seem because sometimes you can't see the spiral arms. But there are other clues that we can use to discern whether this is a spiral galaxy or not. Um, one, of the, one of the main things is that it's flattened into a disk. And so since it's a flat disk, then we know that it, it's not an elliptical galaxy. Um, the other big point is that it has lots of dark dust. So this, all this dark um, shading in this image is dust. And spirals are very rich in gas and dust, whereas ellipticals are not. So by looking for the dust, even though, and the flat disk shape, we can see that this sombrero is indeed a spiral galaxy, even though we can't really make out its arms. All right. So on the topic of spirals, I have a chat question for you. Um, what differences do you notice between these two galaxies? So take a minute, type into the chat and hit send when I start to count down from three. All right, so a lot of you are noticing that the shapes of the centers are different. Um, there's also a, a bit of a difference in the colors, um, the, um, the numbers of arms. That's a good observation. Oh, the direction of spin. I didn't even notice that one, but good, good point. Um, and one of them has kind of a partner it looks like the whirlpool maybe have a, has a partner over here on its right side. Yeah, all great observations. The one key observation that I was um, hoping that you would pick out was, yeah, that there's a difference in the shape of the center of each of these galaxies. So the bulge of the whirlpool galaxy is fairly circular, whereas the bulge of the Milky Way galaxy is elongated. So we call that a bar. And so the Milky Way is an example of a barred spiral galaxy. And this central bar is, um, you know, it's just an elongated um, center region. Um, astronomers are still not entirely sure why the central bar of barred spirals um, is elongated. Um, so 
That's an open question. And some other features of barred spirals are again, the tightness of the arms. So the SBA, B and C are again, categorized by the size of their bulge and the tightness of their arms in the same way as the spirals. And um, both spirals and barred spirals have lots of active star formation. We can see that by the many um, hot young blue stars and also the red regions, which indicate glowing gas that's um, being lit up by hot new stars. Uh, we'll talk about this in more detail when we talk about the Milky Way. And the reason that they have so much active star formation is because they have a lot of the raw stuff that stars are made of. So that's dust and gas. All right, so spirals are very um, active in star formation, dusty, gassy, spiral arms, and a bulge, which is sometimes a bar in the case of barred spirals. <laughs> 